Howdy folks, it's Dr. Jeff Camarda, uh, your wealth doctor once again with must knows about long-term care insurance. For those with financial means, most of you watching this, uh, ass accessing assistance uh, in their homes or care in specialized facilities like assisted living or nursing homes is attainable. Conversely, individuals facing financial hardship can rely on Medicaid for support in nursing homes or, home, or for home aids. However, for the middle class, the decision, which affects many of you watching, the decision of whether to invest in long-term care insurance is complicated, wicked complicated. Unlike other types of insurance, predicting one's financial and health status decades into the future is especially challenging. Long-term care insurance serves individuals who may encounter permanent cognitive issues such as Alzheimer's or require assistance with daily activities like bathing and dressing and cooking. It covers expenses for personal aids, uh, adult daycare, and institutional housing. Notably, Medicare does not include coverage for such long-term care costs. Medicare does not. These policies typically, long-term care policies, typically provide a fixed daily, weekly, or monthly rate, such as up to $1,400 a week for uh, care benefits, for home care aides. Prospective buyers of insurance should inquire about the covered services, payout amounts for different types of care, including nursing homes, assisted living facilities, home care services, and adult day care. Some policies even extend coverage to family members providing care with specifics regarding eligibility and reimbursement for training. Factors to consider include whether benefits adjust for inflation and to what extent, the maximum payout limit, and whether benefits can be shared with a domestic partner or spouse. In 2023, a survey by the American Association for Long-Term Care Insurance found that a 60-year-old purchasing a $165,000 policy could expect to pay around $2,500, $2,600 annually with rates potentially bearing based on gender and inflation adjustment preferences. Many Americans underestimate the financial strain associated with providing long-term care for aging relatives as revealed by, 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 as revealed by a recent poll. Uh, they found that uh, um, the lack of communication about long-term care plans, concerns about affordability and preparation among older adults, and the difficulty in finding and affording long-term care services is significant. Insurance, insurers may increase rates if payouts exceed projection, subject to approval by state regulators. And I need to emphasize a little bit, long-term care insurance rates, everyone I've looked at, and, and I would say this probably applies to all of them, um, are not capped. They will go up based on a variety of factors mostly in what they call insurer's experience, which is how much they're paying on claims, their loss ratio, and given the aging U.S. population, we're all living longer um, and having more problems later in your life, I expect costs to explode, which means premiums for these policies will explode. That none of them um, are capped, they will go up with regulatory approval, uh, and, uh, um, they, which is gonna be required to keep the insurance company solvent, so it's gonna get more and more expensive. If individuals should acquire whether insurers plan to raise rates, well, I can tell you that almost certainly will, and by how much. Uh, whether to purchase long-term care insurance depends on various factors, including home ownership, savings, income, other assets. It may not be worthwhile for those with that significant assets, because you can rely on Medicaid, as we discussed in another video, uh, but for those, it would provide valuable coverage with considerations for affordability and potential premium increases over time. Hybrid policies combining life insurance and long-term care uh, the coverage are gaining popularity. We think they're pretty much a pretty bad deal and discourage folks from, uh, from purchasing them. While these policies offer death benefit if long-term care isn't needed, they tend to be much more expensive with potentially less comprehensive coverage compared to standalone long-term care policies. They're life insurance, after all, with a sidecar car. To get more detail on this and other critical wealth topics, remember to like and subscribe for full access to all my short and extended wealth education classes. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, this is Dr. Jeff Camarda.